Wow, Eduardo, this this really looks it looks very nice. It looks very clean. Yeah, this is the new M Phase uh, 3.0. As you can see, I got five batteries, and these uh, are the new M Phase uh, 3.0 batteries. It's called M Phase IQ Battery 5P. And why 5P? Well, five kilowatt hour per module. So now each module uh, has five kilowatt hour of energy. Um, but not only that, now they have more power. So each module has 3.8 kilowatts continuous power and 7.6 uh, kilowatts per three seconds. Oh, so when, it's, when your air conditioner kicks on, so when your high lows kick on, it has the output to be able to take care of it. The surge. Yes, yes. Fantastic. And as, as, as you increase the battery bank, as you add more and more modules, the power get you know uh, increases so it's modular modular system exactly well i noticed that they're installed very close to each other uh, and i know i've heard a lot of people talk about the safety concerns the fire concerns but yet we're right within six inches of each other how is that possible yeah these are the safest battery in the market right now lfp technology uh, has no thermal runaway, which means that if you puncture it or any accident happens, it's not gonna catch on fire like other uh, battery chemistry. So um, the distance between one battery and the other is about six inches. You can get them closer. So if I was to puncture the battery today, what would happen? Pretty much nothing. Nothing, like th there's no thermal runaway. So uh, very, this is the very, safest, very safe. Safest technology you can have right now in, in your house. Fantastic. So tell me, tell me a little bit about them. What, what, how do they make them so special? How, why are they so powerful? Well, each battery has, like I said, five kilowatt hours of uh, storage. It can scale all the way to 80 kilowatt hours. And each one of these modules has six I uh, IQA microinverters. So each one of those microinverters are specifically designed to work with the batteries. So they have 640 watts each, mod, each micro, so that makes each battery 3.8 kilowatts. And like I said, this micro has a huge surge, up to 200%, which means that now per, for three seconds, each battery can provide uh, 7.6 kilowatts. So now that I have five, I can basically run my air conditioning, my car charger, my instant water heater, pretty much all the loads in the house. Wow. Simultaneously, so, which is great. This battery has so much power compared to other batteries in the market. And you mentioned that each battery, each individual battery, we have five of them here, has six microinverters, mm -hmm. which means that, for example, right here, you have 30 individual microinverters. Yep. That's a tremendous amount of redundancy because if something was to go wrong with one of them, just took at 29 others, you know. Yep. So the chances of your batteries not working are minimized tremendously. Yeah, yep. that's one of the main uh, advantages of the Enphase ecosystem. So Enphase ecosystem is famous because there's no single point of failure. There's no like a centralized inverter that if it goes bad, the whole system shut up. This Enphase ecosystem makes it so you have multiple points, multiple inverters so that if one of them fails, the rest of the system keep, keeps working. There's, there's so much redundancy. And if you are in a hurricane situation, like here in South Florida, uh, maybe one of them goes bad in a hurricane, but the rest of the system keeps working. You don't have a single point of failure. That's, that's one of the greatest advantages. And on top of that, you also have your solar on the roof. You have your solar on the roof that charges your battery, charges your house, and keeps your batteries uh, running at the same time and provides power at the same time that the batteries are providing power to your house. So you have so much power going into your load. So I've heard that sometimes the houses are limited by the amount of solar they have on the roof mm -hmm. because the, the batteries are only kicking on at a certain level. Yes, yes. That happens with, with other manufacturers, but because Enphase, they develop the microinverter technology and they also develop the battery, everything is one company, everything is integrated, which means that when the grid goes out, the solar uh, takes over. So the solar will charge your batteries, and when the batteries reaches 100%, the solar is gonna charge your loads, and the batteries are just gonna idle there. So if I lose power in the middle of the day, 
I'm not immediately running on my battery, no. I'm still running on my solar. Solar, yeah. And my batteries are not being depleted. Exactly. My battery's being saved for later on at night when yeah. I may not have enough solar production. That's fantastic. That's great. Fantastic. It gives me more running time. And also, this IQ8 microinverter is the only one in the market that is grid forming, which means that they can generate their own frequency and voltage in an outage situation. That means that if for any reason your batteries go all the way to 0% state of charge and you are totally discharged, your micros in the roof are going to be able to create their own grid and frequency and still keep your house running. Wouldn't that be dangerous though if somebody's working on the lines? Yeah, that's why we have this device right there. That's the IQ system controller. So what it does when it detects a power outage, it will isolate your house and um, allow all the ESS or energy storage system or um, solar panels to power all the loads on the house. So this is basically what is commonly known as a transfer switch. Yes, but it's much smarter. Because, much smarter. Yeah, yeah, because it, it has multiple switches it's inside. Got, it's got a master's degree. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Another advantage that I didn't uh, talk about is that this new battery has one of the most requested features that um, that Enphase had for so much time. This battery, the 3.0 version, is hardwired, which means that the communication interface now goes through canvas. Um, so that, that, that allows the system to first be commissioned faster, has uh, more reliability, and also in the design um, process allowed us to put, for example, batteries in the opposite side of the house, very far away from, from the meter, from the IQ system controller, etc. Because they're all going to be hardwired yes. and not limited to a Wi-Fi signal and or spotty cell uh, technology or Bluetooth. Yes. They're actually hardwired back to the system controller. Exactly. That means that the system controller, 100% of the time, always knows exactly the battery state of charge and the battery conditions. Exactly, in real time. Fantastic. That's tremendous, tremendous redundancy there. Th that's awesome. Also, another thing is the form factor. This new battery weighs about 170 pounds, uh, but actually that's with the, with the cover, the back plate, and all that. Actually, the, the liftable uh, weight is about 146 pounds, which with two or three people, you can easily install it. Uh, this battery comes with a new handle that is very easy to install on the sides. So you can just put the handle, lift the battery, and put it on the wall. Okay. How difficult was this installation that happened here? A couple hours. Two people? Two people, a couple okay. hours, pretty, pretty fast. And I noticed that the switches are on the outside. That, that's another point. Uh, this new version has the DC switch on the outside, so you no longer have to open the cover to access the DC switch. Again, safety. Safety and easy of uh, troubleshooting, installation, and if you, know, you need to shut it off for any reason, you just press the button. The batteries are about 38 inches high and about 21 inches wide and about seven, seven and a half inches uh, deep. That's half of the previous battery. Half, yes, yes, yes. And twice the power. Twice the power and four times the surge. Tremendous value for the homeowner. Mm -hmm. Tremendous value for the homeowner. So can the batteries work by themselves? I noticed you got some other equipment here. Yeah, so on the 3.0 version, we have th actually three new components. We got the new battery, 5P, but we also have the new IQ combiner, 5 and 5C. And we have the new IQ um, system controller. Uh, the new system controller comes in two versions. So we got the 3 and the 3G. Um, the difference is that the 3G now can incorporate a generator, but the version 3 can incorporate um, a larger battery bank, all the way to 80 kilowatt hour battery bank. That's a lot of, that's that's a lot of power. a lot of power and a lot of energy, yes. And you say that the 3G allows you to integrate, let's say you have a full home generator or a standby generator that you want to integrate into the system, mm -hmm. through the 3G, you will be able to integrate that. Yes. So yes. You, have, you can have a backup to your backup. Exactly. You can have three different sorts of, uh, four different sources of power. You got the grid, solar, batteries, and gas generator. Amazing. So, amazing. 
Redund the redundancy <laughs> to the redundancy. And all of these components are hardwired. So with the three, the IQ system, uh, the IQ combiner five and the battery 5P, everything is hardwired. So everything connects to each other uh, in pretty much in real time and everything can be located in different locations. Eduardo, one of the things that I see in a lot of installations is that when I come up to the installation, there's different components and all those components are made by different companies. You know, um, sometimes they're branded under one name, but the components themselves are all, you know, separate, you know, different, different, different uh, components. You know, I've seen Delta inverters out there. Um, I, again, uh, different ecosystems. I'm noticing here as I looked across that everything seems to be owned and, and made by the same company. Does that make it easier for the components to work together? Oh, absolutely. Everything is monitored through the same app. Everything is under the same warranty. And if there is a problem with something, any component, Enphase, the company, can look up what is the issue, when it happened, and how to fix it. And it's everything remotely and straightforward. No blaming each other. No like blaming this, each this other. This one, that one. It's all under one ecosystem. Everything in one company, one ecosystem. I know as a homeowner, that would give me a tremendous peace of mind. Yeah. Well, congratulations. It looks like a beautiful installation here. Great. A great, great system, a very safe system. That, that, that's really uh, what resonates with me the most when I look at systems like this, is the amount of safety that's built into them. For the workers working on the lines, for the homeowners, and for basically the, the residents, because again, just the fact that it's cobalt free, that you know you can punch it tomorrow and nothing will happen. Yep. As a homeowner, it makes me feel very safe that I don't have something sitting inside of my house that can catch on fire. Yep, so, yep, I agree with you. Congratulations. Thank you. Really neat system.